it's really taking the fire out of the cancer. For Dr. Nora Desis, the effort to slow breast cancer with the vaccine is taking another big step. This vaccine was designed to target the HER2 protein. And the HER2 protein is a very important protein in about 30% of breast cancers. And I have very high hopes that it is close to the final step of the, this vaccine potentially becoming a treatment for patients with breast cancer. A new phase two study to test the DNA vaccine is now underway. It follows a phase one trial of more than 60 women with advanced stage HER2 positive breast cancer. I never would have guessed, never in a million years would have guessed. I was only 42. Anita Triolo enrolled in the initial study after being diagnosed with stage three breast cancer in 2005. It was really a no brainer when they first brought it up to me to go to Washington. The Southern California native and mother of two traveled to Seattle six times to be screened, vaccinated, and then monitored. And if it wasn't going to help me, then possibly it was going to help somebody else. My daughter, you know, her kids, if she should have kids, my niece, my, you know, it would, it would have helped somebody. It's given me, um, I think it's going on eight, 17 years now. So it's given me a lot of extra time with my family. It looks awfully interesting. The results showed that the vaccine was very safe. In fact, the most common side effects that we saw in about half the patients were very similar to what you see with the COVID vaccine. You get redness and swelling at the injection site. Maybe for the first 48 hours, you feel like you have the flu. Some people would get a little bit of fever and chills. Now, Dr. Desis hopes to enroll 150 people diagnosed with stages 1, 2, or 3 HER2 low forms of breast cancer to receive the vaccine. Contact the UW Medicine Cancer Vaccine Institute for more details.